Can you analyze 1 million rows of data and answer questions about it in just minutes? Imagine having the power to turn a mountain of data into actionable insights without much effort. Today I am going to show you how to master pivot tables in Excel. Let's get started. So what exactly is a pivot table? A pivot table is a magical tool in Excel that lets you summarize, analyze, explore and present large amounts of data with just a few clicks. Whether you want to see total sales by region, identify top performing products or track monthly trends, pivot tables make it incredibly easy. Before we dive into creating a pivot table, it's crucial to prepare your data. Ensure your data is in a tabular form with no blank rows or columns. Each column should have a unique heading. Clean data ensures your pivot table will work flawlessly and gives you the best results. But don't worry if your data is messy. Check out my data cleaning tutorial and Power Query playlist linked in the description. Let's say we have sales data with columns like date, region, product, units sold and total sales. We'll create a pivot table to analyze total sales by region. Let's create our first pivot table. Start by selecting any cell in your dataset. Then go to the Insert tab and click Pivot Table. Choose whether you want the pivot table in a new worksheet or in the existing one. Click OK and you'll see a new pane to the right. It is called Pivot Table Field List. The pane has four areas – filters, columns, rows and values. Just drag and drop your data fields into these areas to build your pivot table. This setup allows you to easily change how you view your data. It's like having a personal data assistant. Sorting and filtering are straightforward in pivot tables. Click the drop down arrows next to any field in the pivot table to sort or filter the data as you like. For example, you can sort regions by total sales in descending order to see which region is performing best. We can also filter by date to see sales data for a specific month. It's all about making your data work for you. But that's not all. To change how data is summarized, right click on the value in the pivot table and select value field settings. Here you can choose to summarize by sum, average, count and more. Instead of summing total sales, you might want to see the average sales per transaction. Just select average in the value field settings. Customizing your data has never been easier. In addition to summarizing data, you can show values as percentages, running totals and differences. Right click a value, select show values as and choose your desired option. It's a great way to get instant insights. Show total sales as a percentage of the grand total to see the contribution of each region to overall sales. But there is even more. Calculated fields allow you to add new data to your pivot table based on existing data. Go to the pivot table analyze, click fields, items and sets and then calculated field. Enter your formula and click add. Let's create a calculated field to show prices by dividing total sales by units sold. You can create powerful new metrics on the fly. Now that we've explored how to create new metrics, let's look into another powerful feature of pivot tables – grouping data. It helps you organize your data into higher level summaries. For example, you can group dates by month or year. Right click on the date in the pivot table, select group and choose how you want to group the dates. 
Let's group sales data by months to see monthly seasonal trends. This is perfect for identifying seasonal patterns and trends. Pivot tables offer various layouts to better present your data. Go to the Design tab and explore options like Compact, Outline and Tabular forms to find which one works best for you. Switch to the Tabular form for a more readable spreadsheet-like view of your data. Finding the right layout makes your data even more accessible. If your source data changes, you need to refresh your pivot table. Right click anywhere in the pivot table and select refresh. This updates the data without losing your setup. Keep your insights up to date just with a click. Slicers provide a visual way to filter data in your pivot table. Go to the pivot table analyze, click insert slicer and select the fields you want to filter by. Now you can click on slices to filter your data dynamically. Use a slicer to filter sales data by your region with a single click. It's fun and interactive way to explore your data. Now let's add some more. Pivot charts are graphical representation of your pivot table data. Select any cell in your pivot table, go to pivot table analyze and click pivot chart. Customize your chart to make your data insights visually appealing. Spend time exploring different field settings and layouts. The more you play around, the more you'll discover. And that's only the basics. The more you practice, the more comfortable you'll become.